everyone, we are the group one. And I am Ben Amatiaga. And I am Ian Princess Lerlin Leon. I am Raisa May and Pablico. And this is Lara May David. I'm JND Celeste. And, and this is our performance class in math. We are going to show you what, what is a clinometer and how to use a clinometer when measuring a building. What is a clinometer? Clinometer is an instrument used by engineers to measure the height of the building. It measures the angle of inclination of the building to the horizon. The height of the building is determined by multiplying the distance from the place where you took the angle to the base of the building by the tangent of the angle measure. Material required. Protector. A piece of thread, one nail. Make a tiny hole at the center of the baseline of the protector. And pass the thread through the hole. Tie a knot on one end of the thread and tie the nail to the other end. When it is held with its straight edge horizontal and upside, the nail should hang just below the carpet edge of the This is the an example of trigonometer. How to use a millimeter? Measure the distance of the observer in the building. Get the height of the observer starting at her toes to her eyes. Look at the top of the building and get the angle by measuring it use a clinometer. Create an illustration for us to get the height of the building. Givens are height of the observer 1.14 meters, the distance of the observer from the building is 7 meters, since it is parallel to the line of sight, the line of sight will also be 7 meters. And the angle of elevation is 55 degrees based on the measure using a clinometer. We will use TOA. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. To get the exact value of x, we will do tangent 90 minus 55 degrees. So the answer is tangent 35 and it is equal to x over 7. Transpose 7, that's why it became 7 times 35. And the final value of x is 4.90. And now we are going to measure the height of the building. We will add the value of x to the height of the observer. So the value of x is 4.90 based on our calculation. And now it will be added to the height of the observer which is 1.40 meters. So 4.90 plus 1.40 is equal to 6.3 meters. Therefore, 6.3 meters is the final height of the building.